Yes, yes, I know that I only recently posted about phone camera resolutions being unnecessarily high and that 12 or 8 or even 5 megapixels is enough for almost everyone in terms of what we want to do with our images in 2025. Monitor, TV, iPads, iPhones, web pages and socials. But although I still think that Apple's default output on the iPhone 16 range should still be 12 megapixels, so using all the pixel binning from 48 megapixels to almost eliminate digital noise since regular folk don't need the larger high-res images. At the same time, I can't help but be impressed by what Apple is doing on the latest iPhones and their fusion cameras. Now, for the last half decade, a phone camera shot hasn't just been one photo, but many snapped at different shutter speeds and exposures, all in a fraction of a second. The computing power and algorithms then merge all the data into one theoretically perfect photo with less noise and perfect dynamic range. Essentially, in its fusion cameras, Apple is doing all of this, but also taking both 48 megapixel photos optimised for detail and 12 megapixel photos optimised for light, and fusing them together in a single 24 megapixel image that combines the best of both worlds. And even though all this resolution is needed by absolutely nobody, the results are actually spectacular. See some of the samples here. That notice that I'm having to multi-touch in quite a long way in order that you can see detail at the pixel level in each 24 megapixel image. The fusing being based on the exact same main camera rather than trying to combine data from two different cameras is obviously perfect and free from parallax errors. You could argue that Apple is cheating, double dipping into a 48 megapixel image to extract something purer but lower resolution than using the full resolution anyway, but the fusion system really does work exceptionally well. Intelligently, if you try zooming in, say to two times here, you're only using the central 12 megapixel of the sensor. So output drops to 12 megapixel too. Ditto in portrait mode, for example, which works best at two times. The fusion camera system for unzoomed shots is common across all iPhone 16 models. Though do note that the 16e has a smaller sensor on which to do all this, and the 16 Pro has a larger sensor, so results in anything but bright light will be better the more you pay, of course. Colour me impressed anyway, even though it's essentially technology, for technology's sake. 